going to teach the technique of applying compression bandages to the scrotum. So first, you get a strip of stockinette, um, usually about four inches wide, and you want to place it on the scrotum like this. You want to cover the penis as well, like the, um, the root. And then what you're going to do is cut a hole right above the head of the penis here. Tilt it down just a little so that it's still free so that the patient can urinate. Okay, so you want to have a good amount of stockinette at the base as much as you can. And then at the uh, end, you want to just twist it and then open it up again and place it. This one's actually a little short. So that you have a closed end there. So you want to make sure that there's stockinette covering everything that you're going to put the bandage on. So I'll get a little bit closer here. So it's going to look like that for now with the stockinette. Then you get, this is called the Lincolast bandage. It's a short stretch compression bandage that we use in lymphedema. So what you're going to do is start it out on top at the root of the penis. This model doesn't give me a whole lot of room, so it may overlap over the penis, but you need to leave that free. So what you do first is do a few circles around that go, that goes above the root and underneath the scrotum. And then you're going to go kind of horizontally across just underneath. And then you want to overlap just a little bit. You never want to overlap it 100%. You want to just get a good, um, you want to see a little bit of the previous turn. So once you do that a few times, you go back up, do a couple more. You're just getting even coverage with the bandage. And try not to get the, any of the bandage touching the skin. I'm going to go back over here. It can be real kind of tricky to get the very, very tip. So you kind of just do like an X pattern. Just hold it taut, but don't pull really hard on the bandage. You don't want to overstretch it. This part can be a little bit tricky here, just getting it stay on there at the very tip. So you're just going to kind of just doing this pattern until you run out of bandage. This can be trickier on a real person because you know they're they've got legs and stuff so try to have them open their legs a little bit as much as they can. So when you're done you're just going to use some tape to secure it. Now, in order to get more compression, you need to put more than one bandage. Okay, so you have to start another bandage. Anytime that you're starting a new one, you want to start it on the opposite side that you started the first one. So in order to check that you're doing that, the ends of the bandage should be facing the same way or overlapping. If, if, you apply, if you start the next one and they're touching each other like that, that's wrong. So flip it over and make sure that they're overlapping like that. And then you just continue on with what you were doing. You try to get a little more on, that, on the bottom there and just continue on until it's um, completely used up there. And then secure it with tape. And then whenever you're done, um, try to get some of that stockinette to like fold over right here if you can so that it creates a protection between the skin and the um, bandage because that's really delicate skin there. So you want to just try and protect it as much as possible. 
Okay, so that's how you apply the compression bandage. Now I'm going to teach how to put on the scrotal sling to support the scrotum that you have bandaged and help uh, make it a little more comfortable and hold it a little closer to the body. So this here is called an isoband. It's a, another, it's a wide, um, short stretch bandage. You can also, if you don't have these, you can use um, an ace wrap. It just needs to be wide. So what you do is you start at the patient's um, hips here and you just make, you just roll it around once and then bring it around again. And then now you just go down kind of like obliquely here and get it underneath the scrotum there and then make your way back up. Anchor it again and just continue doing that until you have run out of bandage. Make sure you get down under here, the very bottom, because that's where it tends to want to slip out. So you just keep doing that until you're out and then the bit whenever you run out you want to just use a whole bunch of tape to just secure it there so that it doesn't come undone. So that way they can you know they have their little sling <laughs> and they can <laughs> they can take it out to go to the bathroom if they want to and they fix it back like that. So there you go. Pretty easy. <laughs>